Hey, Abiding Presence. This is our 40th year of ministry together, and no one could have predicted that it would begin with a pandemic causing us to separate and, and social distance and worship from home. Your leadership has been very busy wrestling with this current reality, and they've been planning and discussing and, and dreaming about what comes next. Because we're not the same congregation we were a year ago. Nevertheless, 40 years ago, we are a new community of faith. What will the new abiding presence be? What will it look like? How will it feel? Because APLC 4.0 is different from APLC 4.1. As we plan to return to worship here in this sanctuary on July 11th and 12th, we know that God is with us and that God is guiding us and God is giving us hope. God is placing a new song in our mouth. And as we embrace this newness, we want to hear from you. We want to know what you have to say, what you think the new abiding presence will be. What is your vision for APLC 4.1? So over the next month, you will be invited to participate in small groups, group gatherings here in this sanctuary. We will spend time celebrating just seeing each other and spending time together physically from six feet away. But more so, we're going to talk about what it's going to feel like as we take those first steps as a community of faith in worship. We will also discuss the future. What are the future plans? But these plans cannot be made in a void. Your voice is needed. We want to hear from you, the members of Abiding Presence. We need your input to discover what the new Abiding Presence will be because APLC 4.1 is not possible without you. I hope you consider joining in these important future conversations. So look for an email to come inviting you to a small group gathering in the future. And remember, you are the Abiding Presence of Christ in the world and together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. Really can't wait to see you in person. Take care.